Let me talk to you. Luke Michael Howard, clinical hypnotist and owner of Luke Gnosis Hypnosis. This video is designed to help you to GTS, to go to sleep or to stay asleep or to fall back to sleep rapidly and quickly by retuning and recalibrating your new neurology. This video is not hypnosis. However, it's probably not a good idea to be driving while you do it. And it's probably not a good idea to be operating heavy machinery. It's probably a good idea if you're trying to get to sleep, if you've woken up or if you've been up for a while and you're trying to get back to sleep. I'm going to explain what we're going to do. Then I'm going to do it with you. And don't worry, you're not going to get this perfect. So let go of your perfection mindset here. You're going to mess it up a few times. It's all right. But even if you only did this at 50%, the benefits are so, so powerful. This is part of my sleep gnosis, the GTS, go to sleep program that I teach my clients in our one-on-one -on -one sessions. Certainly by no means the complete work that I do with people, but it's a part of it. And many clients have uh, communicated how very powerful this simple yet effective breathing pattern is. You might think, well, there's a breathing pattern for helping me with insomnia or sleep disturbance. Yep, there's almost a breathing pattern for every kind of issue you can imagine out there. And you might be thinking, as I did, well, isn't it just really about breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your mouth and all that? That's what I used to think, but neurology neuroscience has come a long way over the last 20 years where they can actually really pinpoint certain breathing patterns breath holds playing around with how long it takes you to exhale versus inhale what you're focusing on in the moment as you're breathing how that affects certain areas of your brain and things like the delta brain wave which is what we tend to go into when we go to sleep so this breathing pattern will stimulate the Delta brainwave enable you to fall asleep and stay to sleep and go to sleep more easily and effortlessly. Um, so the first part, I'm going to explain what we're going to do, and then I'm going to walk you through it. If you get lost at any moment, that's okay. You, it's a video. You can pause it and you can rewind it. If the format that I'm posting this video in allows me, I'm going to place an image, cartoon of kind of how the breathing looks and colors and letters that I'll be talking a little bit later on, if the format allows me. But if all you get from this is just the mechanics of the breathing and you do it, you have to do it. Someone's like, I oh, don't just watch it and it just helps me to fall asleep. No, you actually have to do it. Otherwise, it's a bit like going to the gym and be like, I could just watch someone lift weights and I'm gonna get big muscles or I'm gonna get lean and sculpted. No, you have to do the work. Although this is not really work, it's just fun and it's peaceful, okay? Um, so this is very powerful. I'm gonna teach it to you now, then I'm gonna coach you through your experience of it. Okay. Um, you're gonna be breathing, inhaling through the nose and you're gonna exhale through the nose. There's no mouth breathing here, okay? Reason for that is as they've studied breath extensively over the last 10 or so years, we realize that mouth breathing is actually really unhealthy for you. Breathing, and most of us do it, and I, I certainly did, and trained myself to do it less and less now, certainly when I sleep. But mouth breathing is, we're not really designed to do it. The only reason we mouth breathe is, uh, we haven't learned how to, uh, through evolution and stuff, we, 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 our noses become blocked um, and um, malaligned, for want of a better word. Um, so really we're designed to breathe through our nose. It's healthiest we breathe through our nose. There's many scientific studies out there um, talking about the effectiveness of breathing through the nose and how actually um, breathing through the mouth can actually show up some signs of um, illnesses that can come up in the body, heart conditions, cancer, degenerative disease and stuff like that. So, so mouth breathing is really bad. If you only get one thing from this video, um, breathe through your nose and less through your mouth, all right? A lot less through your mouth and a lot more in your nose, specifically when you're sleeping. This is gonna help you to do that today. So, um, when I coach you through it in a minute, but I'm just going to give you a rundown, top down view now. You're going to breathe in for a count of four in through your nose. You're going to hold 
for a count of seven. You're going to breathe out through your nose for a count of eight. You're then going to breathe in through your nose for a count of six. You're going to breathe out, breathe out through your nose for a count of six. Doesn't matter if you're one or two seconds off here or there, let go of being perfect, you're gonna mess it up, it's fine. Um, at the same time you're doing this, when you breathe out, I want you to try and kind of make a, like a, that noise, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Kind of sush, sushing, shushing noise through your nose. The reason behind this is when we were babies and we were in the womb, the way that we would breathe and the sounds that we'd make was a kind of sushing sound as we're breathing. So we want to replicate that in our breathing as well to set off the, the correct neuro pathways um, inside our brain as we do that. Okay, so the breathing is the most important thing. The sushing sound or shushing sound is quite important. The, the next important part is um, kind of help to focus your mind is you want to go, you want to imagine as you're breathing, you're going to do as many rounds as you need to before you GTS, go to sleep with a sleep gnosis, right? So, but you want to imagine you're going from A all the way to Z. Programming note, you probably won't get to Z and still be awake. But that's what I want you to have imagine in your brain. And if you're like, oh my God, Luke, I got to Z, do I win the prize? Well, no, if you get to Z, you're going to do it in reverse. You're going to go from Z to A. But very rarely do people ever get to Z. And I don't think I've ever heard of anyone going from Z to A, but you could be the first, but it's a dubious honor, so you don't want to do that. Okay, just relax and go to sleep. Um, so I'm going to get you to imagine a certain letter. We're not going to go through the whole alphabet on this video. We'll go through the first uh, five to ten letters, and then you can just rewind it and do the rest if you need to. And it'll get to a point that once you've been doing this for a while, um, you won't need to watch the video. You'll just know that uh, you'll just know how to do it. You'll wire it into your brain. All that being said, let's start the process now. Breathing in for a count of four. Holding for seven. Breathing out through eight. Breathing in for six. Breathing out for six. Imagine in the A, the red A. Now breathe in for a count of four. Imagine B, an orange B. Hold for seven. Breathing out through eight. Imagine that orange B. Breathing in for six. Breathing out for six. Imagine a yellow C. Breathing in for four. Hold for seven. Breathing out for eight. Imagine that yellow C. Breathing in for six. Breathing out for six. Imagine a D, a green D. Breathing in for four. Hold for seven. Breathing out for eight. Imagine that green D. Breathing in through six. Breathing out for six. Imagine that blue E for four, breathing in. Hold for seven. Breathe out for eight. Blue E. Breathe in through six. Breathe out for six. Notice how you feel. You, If you still need help, then you're gonna do that exercise all the way up to Z. If you feel good now, or you've just fallen asleep, you can end this video and leave a nice comment and share it below. Always believe, Luke Gnosis Hypnosis.